it's a card shop life. There's not much going on on weekdays. So after uh, going through some of our Pokemon bulk, I found this lovely gem, Snakey. I mean, it's even first edition. And it kills. It kills things. It's pretty sweet. And it's limited. And just look at that attack, too. Yep. Pretty sweet card. Hey guys, Frank the Tank is back, and he is here for EDH. For duty. For duty, reporting for duty. We don't see him much anymore, so this is awesome. We get to see him. Me living all the way in the, the boondocks. Oh. Uh, just. I'm gonna to try to come back earlier, mm -hmm. or more, I should say, and I will. Cool. Well, we definitely miss you. So I miss cool. everybody. Right. And we need to bring EDH back here. We do. At my second home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty pumped because I found this buddy fight set, and I don't know what box is. I just found this uh, this plastic bag. So I'm pretty excited. Cause I'm going to try out Buddy Fight. All right, guys, we have this new deck box here. It is by Max Protection. It is called the Vader Ion Deck Box. It says Magic the Gathering on the front, which is kind of cool. Hard to see because it's all in black, but it's cool. So the cool thing about this is, is it has like this mecha this mechanical mechanism you can see on it, and when you go to open it, like so, it pulls your deck box up. It's hard to do one-handed, so we'll set this camera down. It pulls your deck up with the thing. The downside of this is, is it does not do it very well. It seems like it'll be really easy for cards to get stuck in here. There's like this gap in here. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's a gap in there where like the bottom mechanism, because it can't connect to the bottom, so your cards can just get stuck in there, presumably destroyed relatively easily. And this is just like very unnecessary for it to do this like pull up thing. I've never had an issue like getting a deck out of a deck box. Plus in sitting here doing this, I accidentally just ripped the front thing off, which I shouldn't have been able to do by total accident. So I'm going to give this a D. It looks cool, like the magic thing looks cool on it. If they had just done this without this like pull up mechanism thing, this would have been a nice deck box because it's like nice, it's really sturdy, it, it like feels really heavy duty. Except for that, I could just tear this off by total accident and it will destroy your cards, defeating the entire purpose of having a deck box. All right guys, see you later. All right guys, Aaron fixed the deck box. He tore this part off. So now it's just a normal deck box made out of metal. So now it's just a good deck box instead of a bad deck box. Aaron, you should go work for Max Protection and just fix their stuff. Just give me an exacto knife. <laughs> I'll just fix them all. First so, an hour, an hour. yep, our review on the Max Protection Vader deck boxes. Don't don't buy it. So we got some stuff in today, and uh, there's this closed dice container and dice just kind of in the box. It's like magic to gather. How'd it happen? I don't know how it happened. Oh, battle for Zendikar. The battle for Zendikar has begun. Yeah, that's just open. Intro decks. Are they all the same? Probably. Is there only one intro deck? It's probably five. Oh. They're all different. Dude, this one comes with a generator. Ooh. in this box? Uh, this is probably our purely stuff. Purely stuff? Question mark. Yeah. It's a box that has more boxes in it. Based off Those are my favorite. That looks like a case, a booster case to me. I would guess this is a booster case. No. 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 Purely stuff. Yep. That was right. So the purely stuff comes in deck boxes. Look how cool. Oh, fancy. Try to open it. Uh, I don't think we should open it on camera at least. Whatever. <laughs> Until the purely. 
Alright, yeah, that's what purely stuff looks like. So in here you're gonna get, I think, six boosters and one random promo. That can be any rare or mythic in the set. Yep. As far as I'm aware. Yay! That is correct. Welcome to Zendikar. This is our mountain of uh, Zendikar pre-release product. This doesn't look all that impressive. Not as impressive as like sets past. Hey, so you guys probably already know, but Dan yeah. now is back <laughs> on being I part of the Darium's team. Dice. And he almost just killed Baker by juggling. By juggling. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's back, yay. So I'm really excited because now I have a new buddy to be here with me. Yay. A new old buddy. A new old buddy, right, hey, right. And um, we have this new setup going on over here, so yeah. when Dan records official videos, we can kind of see, you know, how it looks because we want it to be as professional as possible. So the setup looks pretty good. How long did it take to, to put uh, that all up? Okay. Kevin brought this stuff from his house. We put the cable together. Probably took about five minutes to set that all up. Run the extension cord to the wall outlet. Oh my gosh. Last night we had to do uh, Oh my gosh, I see this yeah, now. Like what? That's the closest plug. Why is everything, everything we well, do is, here is we like so right silly. here because this row of lights can be turned off. Oh. This is for lighting purposes. That makes sense. Um, the other lights produce too much glare. Okay. Right. So right here was perfect. <laughs> we drilled the, the wall arm in yesterday. Oh wow. That was wow. pretty fun. We had to get, uh, Kevin brought the drill in, but yeah, didn't bring we'll the drill bit. Mm -hmm. Or didn't bring a battery, so we just had a drill with no power. Or that sounds so, right. Yeah, it was about what oh, yeah, Kevin would do. So we found just a, having a drill that was useless, no drill bit, no battery. We, we found like a hand screwdriver that had like an adjustable tip thing, so we took that drill bit, and then Kevin eventually brought the battery in. Wow, wow. So that was fun. It's nice though. I like it. Oh, it's, I like it, it too. It looks like a cool setup. It does. These are actually lights. They're on right now. You can. See, because it's so dim. Oh. But it's just good, soft lighting. You can adjust the color. Whoa. Whoa, well, man. Intensity. It's too professional I don't for know me. If you can see it on the. You're actually a photographer. This should not be too professional for you. In this environment, it is. But that's sure. what we're trying to do, though. We're trying to get more professional, right? Well, yes and no. I don't we know. want things to be professional ish, is what I would professional -ish. say. Professional ish. Because if it's too professional, it takes too long. Right. So we, we want to be efficient to be, like, too. Well done, but with our still like rogue style. Yeah, we I still don't, we still want, we still want it to look like we're not sure what we're doing because we're really not. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, that is a true statement. Well, cool. Well, I'm glad you're here to do videos and stuff. Yay. No right angle. So we're not quite sure what Dan is doing. <laughs> he just kind of walked out and started gardening. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Man on a mission. It's car shop life. There's not much going So, um. Let's turn off the lights. Look at right angles from beyond our wing. <laughs> Is that the word? Yes. So, um, right now, <laughs> you guys. Look at right angles from beyond our wing. We have an issue where with Is the other memory yes. card. It um <laughs> it seems corrupted, so like a week's worth of card shop life is just not Beautiful. properly it is, like working. Know. So we're trying to use um, a recovery program to get off the memory card. To get me back right so right hopefully it works out, you guys, so we can yeah, upload card shop life. Sam. Sam broke everything. Our computer is just like not working. We had to use a recovery file and it broke like one file up into like 50. It's bad. Our memory cards are destroyed. Yep. SD cards destroyed. There's a virus on the computer now. James is here to try to fix it, but it's not going so well. Good job, Sam. What the heck is Dan doing? What is he doing? Oh, he sees me. He sees me. Oh, gosh. All right, you guys, shout out to MTG Money Cow, who said first on our latest card shop life. And I'm mostly doing the shout out because of the name. I mean, how can I not shout that out? So thanks for being the first to comment on this video, MTG Money Cow. Thank you.